Hi, I'm Kim Arcand, the Visualization Lead for NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. In this next example, we'll be working with images of Kess 73, the remains of an exploded star in our very own Milky Way galaxy. Kess 73 is interesting to astronomers partly because at the center of the image is an exotic object. Astronomers call it a pulsar. A pulsar is extremely dense and spins around very quickly faster than the helicopter rotor spins to keep it up in the air. This is really fast when you realize that the pulsar is as big as an entire city. Follow the link on this page to see an image directory of supernova remnant Kess 73. This directory has four images, each showing different kinds of light. These images appear in grayscale because astronomers take pictures that trace light at specific wavelengths. There is little or no color information in a single astronomical image. This is important because astronomers can then tune the image to match specific objects or physical phenomena. An image of a single wavelength doesn't contain information about the origin of that light. It might come from cool or hot dust, from shocked gas, from spots on a star's surface or something else. When astronomers want to see how these images fit together, they can combine them by mapping the images to colors. In this video, you'll create your own colorized images of supernova remnant Kess 73. Now back to Sydney to guide you through the coding. Thanks, Kim. Notice that your starter code now has four grayscale images. Each of these images has only one input, IR, optical, radio, and x-ray. These are four different kinds of light from four telescopes. Different combinations of the colorized grayscale images produce color that reveals specific things about the stars and gas and dust in space. Now that you've had some experience mixing images in the last video, take some time to mix the IR, optical, radio, and x-ray data to create a visualization of this supernova. Experiment by adding and multiplying inputs to create a uniquely colored output. Once you've colorized this image, move on to the next video, 